Hello and welcome back to the Resurrecting Romans. So, in this episode, we're going to continue our building up for our son. Our son needs to, at some point, take over from us. We, right now, we're not so good. We are excommunicated, and apparently, being one-handed, it's a Byzantine thing. So, if we go and have a look at Byzant- or, uh, like, well, I'm not allowed to vote, so I actually can't look at my candidate score to see that we'd have a very low score. But, if I could, you'd see we'd have a low score because we're not whole, because we're one-handed. Because, apparently, the Byzantine Emperor had to, you know, have all of his limbs. And that was a big thing. However, um, we don't, so... You know, it wasn't just limbs, like... They had to have all their body parts. All, all integral body parts had to be there. So, um, yeah, we don't have that, so... That would also make people less likely to vote for us. So right now, it's not looking great for us in terms of getting a vote. In terms of being uh, voted for, right now we're really looking at our son. We're going to make sure that he is great and brilliant. So right now, can't do anything with him. He's zero years old, so I'm going to unpause and we're going to continue saving up money. Maybe doing a little building in Constantinople because it looks like we've finished our previous building. Um, training grounds don't get us a lot, but the morale of armies is good. I mean, but the rest doesn't really get us a lot. Is there anything else... What's, our, what's my improved keeps level and things like that? Castle infrastructure I can almost push up. Same with improved keeps. Ah, but I'm so far ahead of time because Constantinople is notoriously the highest... Um, techno uh, it has the highest technology at pretty much every game start, I believe. So if we go and have a look at a normal one, you're looking at like 1107. Constantinople, 101612. I mean, it's crazy. Look, look around the rest of the map. Like, where we started in the um, Zany Zoroastrian series, that's 276 right now. That's so much lower. Like, that's crazy compared to where, where we're at. So we're just ahead of time, which means that we're probably going to get a lot of tech points building up, and we're going to be able to get these quicker. However, it's gonna, still going to take some time to actually upgrade them, and we don't want to pay the 171 one, so we're probably going to look at, like, construction. So there's a lot in the way. But anyway... Um, what we should also try and do is we should try and um, get these lower holdings, because if we can get all lower holdings, that's a lot of extra income coming in. Although I believe we'll only be able to get and hold the barony, so yeah. This is really the only one we need. But anyway, um, let's just upgrade to the training grounds is what I'm getting at. Right, uh, we could also potentially get a retinue. We only got 1.6k, um, that's not really a lot. I mean, it is a large proportion of our troops, but... It's not really worth the effort, if you know what I mean. Like, we could do that, but, like, it costs a lot of money. We'd be better off just saving and getting mercenaries. It's good tradition to have some gossips around a pregnant woman. Well, let's get some maids dispatched to our wife here. Yeah, that'll do well. You can use family members if you have family members, but we don't, so it's fine. Um, I'm gonna vote for... Oh, someone else is voting for me? Oh, nice. We're actually third. That's not bad. Okay, but if we go and have a look at like this guy, he, he is one-handed. There you go. So that's, that's kind of what we're getting at. That's why they don't like it. Although maybe that, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. That's apparently the reason. He is docile. What's that mean? As in what trait is causing us to be docile? Huh? What's that even, what's that referring to? Does that think that might be like you, you have content or something? Or is the per- oh, or is the person who is- is he docile? No. Maybe I'm- I'm not understanding which one of these counts as docile. Maybe I don't quite understand the word fully. That would probably be it. But- or maybe it just doesn't make sense. That's the other option. Uh, I dislike him as a fairly big one at negative 30. Yeah. So, Infidel, I don't like him. How about this guy? I dislike him, Infidel. Wait, are so all these people orthodox? They are. Okay. Interesting. Uh, wait, is the main candidate orthodox? He is. Oh, okay. So, Iconoclast is the main religion, but orthodox is the biggest religion. Okay, interesting, at least in terms of votes. My brother actually gets more votes than me. I could put my votes behind my brother. Is that helpful? Maybe. If our brother got in charge, it could be useful. I was just wondering, do we have a claim on, we do have a claim on the Byzantine Empire? 
Hmm, here's something we could potentially press. Let's have a look at the war. So we could try and, like, claim the Byzantine Empire, and that would give us it. We'd get it immediately then. The problem is, we have to beat him, and he has six, well, he only has 6,000 troops. That's doable. Even in our current state, I could probably hire enough mercenaries to do it. We have enough land that they don't really have anything to fight us back with. Huh. Wonder if, do, if I had allies within our realm, could, uh, could I call them in? Do I have any allies I can potentially get? Probably not. No, almost definitely not, because you are already underneath me. Yeah, all my brothers are already underneath me. Hmm. That's a potential one, is just declare the war. Just take it by force. Now, it would still have the same succession law, but that would give us time. I might hold off on that. We don't need to do it immediately. We have another son as well, Demetrios. So, I'll think about that. But yeah, declaring a war for it might be a good idea. What's the war with it? It's just been declared. Oh, it's just getting rid of the peasants' revolt. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Don't need to worry too much about it. Usurp two duchies. Not going to do that. Don't need to do that. Uh, do I want piety and prosperity for Constantinople? Sure. Yeah, it prospers. So its prosperity level is one. Yeah, not bad. It's okay. Can live with that. Are we reinforcing? We are a little bit, yeah. Uh, my brother asked me to spend some time with the family in Corinth. Um, sure, let's do that. We had a great time together and we got some opinion. Lovely. All good there. Is this faction still really strong? It's 100% of our power. Increased cancel power in Greece. Why do you hate me? Tell me why you hate me. Okay, let me hover over here. Uh, wants a seat on the council. 40. Desires the Them of Crete. Or Crete. Wait, I have the Them of Crete? Oh, yay. You know what? Random dudes? Have it. It's yours. Yeah, okay. It's all yours, dude. Um, You want to see it on the council? On you go. Have my mother's. Right. Let's see how that goes. Now, that should pretty much just take him out of this faction, I'd imagine. No, he still wants to be in it. My mother just died. I mean, you know, come on. It wasn't like she was using the seat on the council. Uh, we'll go for a seneschal, and then... How much is a gift? 41? We'll pay it. Yeah, we need a new... Oh, designated regent. That should be my brother, right? He's not very happy with me. He's disappointed in me. He desires the county of... Uh, um, I believe that's... Achia. Achia? Yeah, anyway. We'll go with something like that. Uh, places are converted to my faith. How's this faction looking? You're still in it with a 100% opinion of me? Really? Uh, Tula has settled. Okay. Um, Tula's really settled. Cool. Got two messages about it. This faction still got... Oh, it's 73%. That's much better. How about the other guy? Why does he hate me? I dislike you because I desire... Oh, well, that's fine. We could give you a gift, I suppose. Yep. How about you? You dislike me because... Oh, you're not going to tell me. Oh. Just in general, you just don't like me. Um... That's not really worth a lot. As in that, that's a very bad ratio in terms of money per opinion. We'll hold off there. Right. How's that faction looking now? Still going strong? Okay, well we're getting stronger, so... The longer this goes on, the better we're looking. Can I press a faction for us to be in charge? Oh, there already is one. Oh, okay. Well, you hold that land. You hold that land. You hold that land. So there's, a re there's three more who would join us, at, at least. Hmm. I believe you can only force people to join factions that you um, own, though. I was trying to think whether I could get favor and force someone to join a faction. Maybe. We'll hold off a second or two here. Um, don't want to invite my friend to the banquet. Of course, why wouldn't I? That would just seem rude not to. Yeah, it worked. What I'm doing before I join this faction is I'm waiting for my armies to reinforce, because if my armies are reinforced, then we're going to add a lot of extra strength, and I want to do it when we're ready. 
you know what I'm meaning. Because right now, if we join, well, we're going to add an extra half. Hmm. Let's have a look. 104%. It's not bad. Let's wait a little bit. Blessed has passed. There is a new saint. Wonderful. I, it, it doesn't particularly bother me whether we have saints or not. Um, okay. More people join this faction, including the Ecumenical Patriarch. I'm in. Do it. Fire. Fire the faction. Am I in charge of the faction? They gave me power over the faction? Oh ho ho. Oh no, it's repentance. Never mind. <laughs> Wrong one. Public act of contrition in our presence. Oh, sure. I was supposed to spend three days in the mud with my head covered in ash, dragging myself towards the Ecumenical Patriarch's Holy Palace before Theodorus uh, finally decides to grant me his forgiveness, lifting my excommunication and welcoming me back to the loving embrace of the Holy Mother Church. 5% chance I become stressed because I'm ashamed? Didn't. But look at that, our diplomacy came back. People like us again. And people are in. People are into this faction. It's good times. Very good times. Decline. I, I'm going to block anything you try and push through. Uh, do I want to burn the, my Mysticos? Uh, no. Um, I don't really want to burn my Mysticos, if I'm honest with you. Um, I would like to brand the Mysticos. Sure. That seems like the most sensible option available to me. Conversion of Denmark. Denmark is now of the Lollard faith. Why? Well, that's a good question. Uh, anyway, a troubadour and his wife, the Truba, uh, the Trubaritz, has arrived from uh, Occitania. Their performances range from vulgar satires to political savants and everything in between, including songs and poems about courtly love. Oh, intrigue. Uh, yeah, we'll take a free intrigue. That seems good. Fire the faction. Fire the faction. We have 300% strength. Fire the faction. AI. What are you doing? Mayor Manuel feels I risk myself too much. Okay. Fire the faction. We have 115... 31% uh, strength because this guy died. But, you know, still fire the faction. This event gives you a eunuch. I, I don't care. The right eunuch. Kinswoman. Ant, this is my cousin's daughter. Okay. Again, that's fine. Uh, demand installation of claimant. Oh, you gave me the faction? Oh, ho, ho. Right. Um, for a long while now, you have not felt the presence of Jesus in your thoughts. Um, I would love Zealous. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love Zealous. It's really good. Do I have anyone I can force into a faction? Not immediately. Do I have anyone on my Elysia's council I can get into a faction? Like, um, see if any of them will accept a favor. I think you're already in the faction. Um, Strategist of Trebizond. Yes, you are. Okay, well, what about you? Nope. Nope. Okay, thought it was worth checking. Ecumenical Patriarch is, though. We have more than 100% of our Elysia's strength. Let's go. Um, fire away. Uh, also, raise our armies up and start merging. Over here. Do I have any other army? I have Crete, but they're not coming. I uh, don't have any over there. Yeah, let's go. Your shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded. No matter how many corrupted souls you've enticed to help carry out your plan, I will not give in without a fight. I'd rather die defending what is rightfully mine. Signed, Basilius Marianus, uh, Mariana, Marianus of the Byzantine Empire. Then war it is. Right. Can we raise up any more troops now? Sure. We have a few more vassal troops to raise up. I accidentally opened the console. Right. Um, these vassal troops are all going to merge up over here, if possible. Just going to make sure we're not leading. We're not leading. Okay. These armies are going to merge up around there. How strong is our liege without his army? 8,000. How strong are we? 11,000. Okay, it's close. This is our full army, though. Right, and gr good. All of ours are pretty much on the mainland, so we can just control this area, and we're good. Yeah. 
Um, a lot of his are on islands, and the AI is horrible with islands. A religious, uh, sorry, a holy man came to court today to talk about matters of faith, but it soon became clear that he held rather unorthodox views. Being a zealous defender of the church at all times, I believe I did the right thing when I gave the order to imprison a blasphemous pagan who dared criticize my faith in my church. Uh, Deus Vault. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce that, because I got made, people made fun of me on the previous one. Uh, but, yes. Anyway. I was shaking with rage at the pagan's blasphemous words when Andreas took the opportunity to whisper, Good work, in my ear. Fantastic. But yeah, if that's not Deus Vault, then please let me know and I can, uh, correct it to the other thing and it would also be wrong. And then I would have to just, oh, accept that I'm stupid. Which is possible. Um, please don't die as I talk about being stupid and having my armies die because I'm not paying attention and too busy talking about the pronunciation of a word. Right. Merge into here. Yeah, good, we won. That's exactly how we should do it. Win with more casualties than they took. That's exactly the way you want. Right, head over this way. I need a new commander because they probably died in the battle or of disease. Yeah, we'll go for that one. And go towards Constantinople. This way. Uh, mobs of uh, opportunists and loyal veterans have flocked to the banner of Basilius uh, Marinos of the Byzantine Empire. Hmm. Well, that's not great, but not a lot we can do about it. Head over here. That's a large army. I kind of want to merge up this way then. Yeah, head over here. You head over here, and we'll meet up somewhere in the middle. Uh, the abbot of nearby monastery asked that you make a donation towards the repairs of the monastery church. Nah, don't feel like it, really. Right, this one doesn't have disease. Maybe it's a better place to merge up. Nice. 10,000 troops, much better. Go with that guy. That guy. That guy. Uh, where's the river crossing? Between there and everywhere, and it is mountains. I still think we beat them, but I'm not as confident there. Hmm. I'm not confident in the slightest, in fact. I need a new court physician as well. Okay, you know what would make me confident? This is dangerous, but if I do this, I'm 100% confident we'll win the battle. Let's go. We get more morale by doing that. Yeah, well, we're fighting against no commander on the other side. So this flank should go great for us. Center, we have double the troops. This side, we have more. So let's see. Uh, news reaches you of uh, an Arabic scholar who just arrived in the ship in the harbour of Constantinople. The scholar named Musa uh, Castromora, Castromoro is rumoured to be working on a compendium of medical uh, treatments. Yeah, sure. You're hired. Uh, I'm getting destroyed or the center's getting destroyed? Oh, we're good. I was almost getting destroyed is what happened there and then... Turns out, uh, having one flank that was just going to survive was good. Switch uh, these guys over. Uh, set myself to not be in command of armies and go chase them. Over this way. They're probably going to end up in Abydos. Yeah, looking at it, that's where... The oh, they're maybe going all the way around. Oh, they're going to Constantinople. Wait, they're going here. No, they're actually just going to Constantinople. What? what? It's meant to pass them, path them to a friendly bit of land, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to have some prayer and meditation. I'm sure that's meant to take them to a friendly bit of land. Chance of getting temperate or diligent? Do I not have both of them? No, I have neither of them. Hey, now I have temperate. Nice. Okay. I'm looking to just charge directly into that army. We have enough troops. We should be able to do it. We were able to do it. Nice. Crushed them. Uh, we need a new court chaplain. Uh, it's going to be this guy. Never mind. It's going to be this guy. And he is going to do the same job. Go and hunt apostates. Head down here. We're probably cap on war score from battle soon. I'd imagine. Oh, they're heading over there. Oh, wonderful. We can arrive and just kill the army. It didn't even get a moment to rest. We're capped on war score now, in fact, aren't we? No? Oh, because we haven't taken any land. They're getting ticking war score. I see. By any other name. My lord. Pamphilios approaches me with clothes stained with dirt and fire in his eyes. Would you do me the honor of bestowing a nickname upon me, my lord? My friend will be known as the Loyal. 
Yeah, definitely. Head here, start sieging, assault down. Right, so we now have the capital, which takes away kicking, uh, taking war score. Took all of those, wonderful. Uh, oh, that's an army I'm after. Head over this way. It's same kind of odds as last time, but we should be able to do it. Conversion of Bohemia. They are now orthodox. Okay, not great for us because we're not orthodox, but still could be worse. My wife is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Am I paranoid? No, I'm not. So my wife is probably cheating on me. Such a wonderful uh, bouquet. The complex blends of flavors spreads over my tongue just as the warmth spreads in my belly. These monks certainly know how to make a fine wine. Uh, no thanks. No thanks. Right. Um, I don't think that my... I think my wife is cheating on me, but I also uh, don't think it's worth investigating any further. I'm capped on war score uh, for Cass's belly. That's okay. Assault down. Wait. Assault down. I'm just going to places I can assault so I can get that 100% off a piece and force demand. Bob's your uncle. I'm the uh, Byzantine Emperor. Right. Gonna end the episode there. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.